Hey guys, it's Sabrina, lead trainer for The Balan Method. Um, I'm going to show you today two different plugins for setting up redirects on your website. Um, the reason you would want to set up a redirect, there's a few different reasons, but um, a couple of the main reasons would be if there's a page on your website and you accidentally created a second of that same page on your website, you'd want to redirect one to the other. <clears throat> and you would want to direct um, either the old one to the new one or whichever one is gaining more traction is the one you would want to redirect the other page to. Another reason you may want to do a redirect is if there's a page on your website that is broken and no longer running, um, it comes up with a 404 error page, you'd want to find that page and redirect it to a new page with that information. <clears throat> now, if you um, had a brew website before we created our custom brew themes with the showcase pages, Another option that you might be doing a redirect is you may be taking your old community pages that you built and creating new showcase pages for those same searches, like Homes for Sale in Las Vegas, for example. So you would redirect the pages to the new showcase pages. So just a few reasons there that you might be uh, using a redirect. Now there's two plugins that could uh, do this for you. One of them is Yoast SEO, but it is the premium version. So Yoast SEO does have a free version. We have it right here. Um, but the premium version is, it looks like $89 a month for one site. Um, that could change, but as of right now, it is, it's $89. Um, and this license does expire after a certain period of time, and you do have to renew it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's a year, and then you have to renew it again. So just keep that in mind if you want to go this route. There's other benefits to SEO Premium, um, but for today's purpose, the redirect is the feature of the premium um, that you would want to have. The other plugin that you can use, and let me pull it up here for you guys, is Quick Page Post Redirect. And where is it? There it is, right here. Um, and this is by Anadet. <laughs> I cannot pronounce that, uh, but it's by this guy. So if you go to your plugins and hit add new, and then type in quick page post redirect, it will pop up here for you guys. It's this one right here. Okay, so here's how you use them. Um, and a really important thing when doing um, redirects uh, for each plugin to keep in mind because they do work just a little bit differently. So on uh, on the SEO Yoast plugin, I'm going to go ahead and just create a new um, standard page here because I don't want to delete any of our existing pages. Uh, so I'm just going to call this testing for deletion and redirect. And I'm just going to publish that. Okay, so with SEO Yoast, really cool thing is if you go to your pages and you find one that you want to redirect, so like that testing one I just did, here it is, testing for deletion and redirect. If I move this to the trash, oh, and it didn't do it, how rude. Um, typically, Yoast, and I'm not sure, maybe it's because it's not linking anywhere else. If, a, if another page was linking to it, then maybe it would prompt it. Um, but Yoast will typically prompt and say, hey, this page has already got some, um, some traction on it, or it's already being linked. Would you like to redirect it? And it will prompt it for redirect. Okay. So um, it didn't do that in this case. So what you would do is, let's see here. I'm just gonna pop into one of these pages here. <clears throat> so you're gonna wanna go to SEO and go to redirects. And here's all of our redirects. So some of these were done because we trashed the page and then it prompted us for the redirect, or you can just go straight into the redirects option here, um, set up the type of redirect you wanna do. Um, typically, moved permanently is the one you're gonna, gonna be using. Um, you paste the URL to the old page, and then 
here you paste the URL to the new page that you want that old page to redirect to. And then you just hit add redirect. Okay. Um, so with SEO redirects, it will typically allow you to add, put that old URL or that old page in the trash. Don't delete it permanently, but it should let you move it to the trash and then set up this new URL. Now with um, quick page post redirect, if I go into one of our pages here, uh, I'm just going to grab any one of these. Here's quick page post redirect. So the plugin is directly on the page rather than going to a setting on the side. Um, you check this box that says make redirect active. You paste the page that you want the page you're currently working on to redirect to. Um, you do have the different types of redirects here. Again, this permanent one is more likely the one you'll be using most of the time. And then you just hit update. Now with quick page post redirect, you cannot move this page to the trash after you do the redirect. You have to keep this page um, on your regular published pages, okay? If you move it to the trash, the redirect breaks and, and it won't work. <laughs> Um, so those are the two different redirect plugins that we use. Um, Quick Page Post Redirect is a free plugin. Yoast SEO does require the premium version in order to utilize the redirects. Um, so you have a couple different options based on your needs. And if you have any questions, you can always reach us at team at ballonbrands.com. And if you like this video and want to learn more about online marketing, be sure to subscribe to the channel below. And that is all. <laughs> Have a great day.